The hypothalamus has a bunch of specific nuclei in it as well. And you can see them all outlined here and color-coded. Trust me, that's not the way they actually look in the brain. In order to identify where one of these nucleus starts and stops, it's thousands and thousands of man and woman hours, graduate students, postdocs, undergraduates sitting in a dark room measuring the activity of cells. So if you knew what I knew, you'd appreciate that we have these beautiful demarcations of these different nuclei. And when I say it's a regulation center, I, I think you can see um, you have this region right here, often called the pre-anterior, uh, uh, the pre-optic area of the anterior hypothalamus is involved with thermal regulation to regulate your temperature. The suprachiasmatic nucleus, something we'll talk about a little later in the semester during the arousal state and sleep lecture, regulates your 24-hour circadian rhythms. You have nuclei like the arcuate and uh, supraoptic regulate reproductive function. We have the lateral hypothalamic and the ventral medial both interact with hunger and, and eating, the desire to eat and the ability to be full. And then you have several nuclei involved with blood pressure, heart rate, shivering, memory. So there's a lot going on here in the thalamus, okay? Um, 17 known discrete nuclei all involved with very important regulatory information.